This is Jill Maurer with Your Jewelry Minute, and today I'm answering the question, what does prong set mean? If you think right now about an engagement ring, even sort of a cartoony version of an engagement ring, you are probably picturing a solitaire diamond ring in a prong setting. Prongs are kind of like, they're kind of like tines that come up and they, gr and they grab the stone and then they're bent over the stone like that. Typically, a diamond or another gem is set with four prongs. There can be more, there even can be less, especially in, if a gem is being set in multiple ways on different sides. The more prongs you have, the safer the stone is, but the less light that comes in. The fewer prongs you have, the more light that comes in, but the stone is not as safe. So you're always looking to strike that balance. If you have a piece of jewelry, but especially a ring that has prongs, you do want to have those inspected about every six months because a prong can shift and move and you might lose that stone. So it's a good idea to just have a jeweler take a look and make sure that all your prongs are in place because it's an easy matter to fix them before you lose that stone. Losing the stone can be very sad. Another thing I'll say about prong settings is sometimes you'll see a gold ring, for example, with a diamond in it, but the prongs are white gold and people ask why is that well sometimes you want the prongs to be a different color to enhance the stone more so sometimes even if your ring is gold you'd rather have a white gold prong holding it this has been your jewelry minute if you have a jewelry question just ask me in the comments below until next time mm -hmm.